Let's go. We got paid, boy. We got paid, boy. Yo, yo, yo. CPA strength here. Strongest list in CPA in the state of Florida. Florida man here teaching the county. Let go. <laughs> We're going to have some fun here. We're going to learn some stuff. This is, I've been going through my comments, so leave a comment if you don't understand something, you want to see another video, or just leave a comment to help the algo. And also, just please like this, you're getting this free 99 entertainment here for the freebie. Done. I've done a video like this before, but not, but separate. See, we're doing two transactions today, and I've done these separately. I put these two together so you can see them together. Now, of course, we're going to be using our DCA lure and, you know, debit, credit, debit, credit, asset distribution, expense, liability, equity, revenue. If you don't understand this, I've done many, many videos on my playlist over here that you might want to watch if you know if you don't know this. So please watch those. So what would I, what would I do if I have a, I have a trans, a journal entry, a transaction to do? I'm gonna make a line in the middle of my paper, and I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna know debit on the left, credit on the right. DC debit on the left, debit's always on the left. Credits always on the right. Always, 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 always. So let's go. One, performs bookkeeping services for $2,000. Yes! Yes! I made some money. I finally, I finally got, I finally found someone that said, yeah, I want bookkeeping services for $2,000. Yes! So if you're, if you're, you perform work for your, in your ordinary necessary, in your ordinary business, you perform the work, that's going to be a revenue. All right, that's going to be income. That's going to be a revenue. You're getting paid for something you do on a daily. That's going to be a revenue for $2,000. But performs bookkeeping services for $2,000 on account. See, I would have liked to, them to say, here's your money right now. But that doesn't always happen. People don't always have the money. So on account means they didn't pay you. And they're saying, hey. Thanks for the bookkeeping services. Thanks for your thanks for your services. I'm gonna pay you at a later time. So bear bear with me here now. If they said we're gonna give you cash, because most transactions involve cash, and if you've been following me for a long time or for a while, you know I always like say, you know, follow the cash, follow the cash, follow the cash. So on account is in place of the cash. But if it was cash, you know you have cash incoming, it's an asset, and it goes up. But we don't have that, so you're thinking about that. You know what? So you're thinking about that, but you're saying, oh, it's an account. It's on account. Now you're going to say, you know, accounts receivable is a big is a big thing. Accounts receivable, accounts payable. That's big in accounting, you know? So in this case, we have something on account. We've fronted it to them, we've given them the goods and services, and they have not given us the money yet. They say, we're going to pay you later. So I have an account receivable, because we're, we're thinking as the business. We're doing journal entries, you're thinking as the business person, as the business entity. So we have an accounts receivable. We have an accounts receivable. Now, if you're doing this for a while and you don't, you know, you're thinking, what is an accounts receivable? Well, you're going to know after doing this for a little while that accounts receivable is one of the bigger assets you're going to have because that's, you know, an accounts receivable, that's going to bring you a future economic benefit. Yeah, because you're going to get, you're going to get the money. You're going to have an accounts receivable. So that would be our, that would be our debit in this. You, you perform services and don't get paid on account. So that's going to be our debit is accounts receivable for $2,000. Now you know that's an asset. And what's our credit going to be? Well, we, perf we performed the work. We did the work. So that's revenue. And we know our revenue is going up. So that's going to be our credit. Our bookkeeping revenue, bookkeeping revenue of of two thousand dollars is a revenue imagine that bookkeeping revenue is a revenue imagine that now let's see does our debit equal our credit two thousand dollars two thousand dollars our account receivable is growing because they didn't owe us anything before now they owe us two thousand dollars it's going up our assets going up in value so that would be a debit yes we have a revenue we made two thousand dollars our revenue account is going up that's our credit. Is that our credit here? Yes. Revenue going up. Boom, boom, boom. 
We're ready for our second one. You ready for the second one? Let go! Yo, your boy is caffeinated today. I try to get off the caffeine, but what are you gonna do, right? As a former methamphetamine addict, you can't, you know, you can't get everything, right? So let's go! <laughs> let's bring the pain, baby! <laughs> Anybody can, anybody can always change. If you would have told me 15 years ago that I would be where I am now, I would have said you're crazy. Anyways, I've gotten further than anyone ever thought I ever would in my whole life. I've gotten twice as far as everyone, anyone ever thought I would, and I'm really just getting started because I just started loving myself six months ago. Let's get back into it. Second one. You get paid. We got paid, baby. We got paid. We got some cash. We got paid, baby. Yeah. You get paid. So I don't even care. I don't even care. We get paid. We getting paid. So what's that? We got that cash. Two thousand dollars cash. We know. We know because you've been following, you've been watching the videos. If you ain't watched the old videos, come on man, where are you at? Let's go. Let's go. We got paid, boy. We got paid, boy. <laughs> we got paid the two thousand dollars on account. We got paid the two thousand dollars. So we have money. We have more money, we have cash, we have money coming in. What is that? That's a debit, it's an asset, it's going up. So we got cash, $2,000. We know that cash is an asset. And what is our credit gonna be? We got paid the $2,000 that was on account. So let's... <sighs> let's think about this. We got paid the $2,000 that's on account. Our account, our accounts was higher. Our accounts, that's an account receivable. Someone paid us back the account receivable. So that's less. So our, our accounts receivable on account. We had, an, we had an account receivable. They paid us for it. So it's going down. Now we already know account an account receivable is an asset now if it's going up we're going to debit it if it's going down we're going to credit it so in this case the accounts receivable account was two thousand dollars now it's none because they're paying us back so we're going to have a r two thousand dollars all right Two assets, one journal entry. Let's go! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey! <laughs> People would ask, oh, CPA strength, like, why isn't, you know, they think, I got many, many, many questions why this, why this journal entry, because I've done this on a standalone, why this isn't revenue? You know, you get paid $2,000, people would say, why isn't that revenue? Thought, That's a great question. But when you do them together, you see it's just an extra step because these cancel out each other. These cancel out each other. And what you really have is cash, uh, debit cash, and credit bookkeeping revenue. So I hope together you can see it like that. I'm trying to get bring back, try to bring back some flair, some pizzazz, some you know what. I think what I want to say, never. Stop trying to be better. Live with a purpose. Live with purpose. Someone asked you, what are you passionate about? Someone asked me what I was passionate about when I was like 22 years old. I had no idea. I looked at it like, huh? Like, man, I ain't passionate about nothing except getting high and suppressing my feelings. And that was all right? Try to live with a purpose. Try to keep going. Also, I want to say I got a comment for oh this guy can get a CPA license. I got anybody could get a CPA license. Anybody can do anything if you put your mind to it. A meth head drug addict like me can put his mind to being a CPA, a uh, small business owner, making making uh, nicely over fucking six figures now. I'm sober and I have a successful YouTube. I'm the strongest CPA in Florida, I'm juicy. So yeah, you can do anything you put your mind to. He's like, well anybody can be a CPA, you know shit. Anyways, this is CPA strength. It's good to be back, I'm getting in the rhythm, getting in the rhythm. Deuces.